What's up there, Global Nobles? How's it going, YouTube Nation? So, check this out. There has been a lot of misconception about what's been going on with the HTC announcement of their virtual reality headset and their incorporation of what people say that they're going to be involved in making a game with Valve for the next Half-Life. So, you know, um, HTC came back on and uh, clarified a few things. Now, even in the post that I put before this, I kind of got the notion that they were going to be the first to get into the virtual reality headset, you know, uh, since the Oculus Rift came out, the Samsung, you got Google getting into it, you may be having other companies that are, that I probably don't even know or mention, that are getting into it right now as we speak, and they are testing out a few bugs here and there. But so far, Oculus Rift and Facebook have been already on top of those things. And to be quite honest, a lot of people took their announcement and said, Oh, this is great. The next Half-Life or is, who knows, Half-Life 3 and uh, it's going to be nice on the headset reality. No, it's not that quite simple. For right now, they're just only focused on making the headset first. And then from there, who knows what Valve may do with it. But after that, I guess, who knows, we probably might get the next Half-Life. But don't look at it as anything anytime soon. Because for right now, they're just tinkering with things that make the virtual reality look so cool that you want to get it. And for the consumer price that they're probably announcing it for, I, mean, I can't even speculate. But... Rumors set aside since all the rumors that have been going on for the M9 is actually quite true. I have to say it would somewhere be about 700 bucks, 500 bucks, the lowest for consumer price. I don't know. I'm just dabbing in there. I'm not sure. Even though there are selling some for 300, but as far as I know, there are two types of uh, the head, the HTC headsets are, are coming out, which is the developer's edition, which should be out pretty soon. And then you got the consumer edition, which comes out this holiday season. So uh, it might come out sooner than any, but who knows. Um, but that's not all, you know. It, it seems that a lot of people on the internet are actually thinking that uh, HTC is going to get involved with Valve. And they're going to make the next Half-Life 3 happen, but... Again, this is not anything that's going to come out soon enough. It probably might to 2018, 2017, who knows. But um, there's other sad news that EA, the company that loves to scoop up game, little small game companies and make whatever, try to take, it, just think of this. EA is like the melon or the watermelon and then you got a small gaming company which is an orange the melon buys the orange squeezes it for whatever juice it has left and then decides to throw it away so EA decided to buy Maxis a long long time ago and uh, they did pretty great you know I am a big fan since the Nintendo and uh, the Super Nintendo SimCity and I still I still have SimCity 4 with the Rush Hour pack and the little transportation came with a little crappy cardboard CD but it had the transportation pack where they had little planes little uh, small planes trains and all this other good stuff but they decided to buy Maxis and then it seems that Yesterday, they decided to shut it down. So after a somewhat years, uh, it is sad to say that, yes, Maxis and SimCity is no longer mm, enjoyable for us. But I guess this comes to a recent news that Paradox um, Game... I, I can't even... I don't know. It's Paradox Games, but they decided to come out with... A similar type of SimCity simulation and kind of looks the same but it's really more intense and I want to get my hands on it I do want to get into it and play it I am a big fan of SimCity if you guys check out my other videos I do show tutorials on how to get through SimCity if you guys have it and are having a hard time with it I mean even through the beta stages when I played on SimCity 
it was quite amazing, but it kind of disappointed that they never made the maps bigger or they never got to incorporate how you do with city skylines where you start off with one square block and then you're able to unlock other areas where you can actually uh, grow your region. So it kind of makes it seem like SimCity 4 is that you just got to work really hard in order for you to unlock those other features. So that's pretty great. So I, like I said, uh, I kind of want to get my hands on uh, Cities Skyline. It comes out March 10th, so if you guys are watching this now, you probably might want to go on to their website. Link's down below. And you might want to pre-order if you guys are interested in the sim, uh, City Simulator and would like to try out some alternatives towards SimCity. But again, rest in peace, Maxis, EA, it, it was a mistake. You guys should have invested a little bit more money. They did give you The Sims. They, they gave you a whole bunch of other games. Uh, it's kind of sad for you guys to go ahead and shut them down. But then again, they did the same thing to my other favorite company, which was Westwood. Uh, if you guys were uh, knowledgeable on Westwood, Westwood was the, the creator of Command and Conquer Red Alert. And it, they actually did pretty great, but then it seems that with the new Command and Conquer that was supposed to come out uh, and was released on closed alpha, seems that they got canceled a couple of years back and that's it so again you know all these news and links will be in the description down below this is how i know this information I'm passing it on to you guys but again my upset news on maxis i can't wait for city skylines to come out and i think this is the reason why they uh decided to shut it down i mean for my part on an extra i figured that ea got somebody at ea saw what was going on with Paradox and City Skylines and said, damn, we could have at least made money if Maxis would have came up with some situation like this. But because they didn't, I think we should just shut them down. Everybody voted. They say, yeah, sure, yeah. That's it. So who knows? Well, let's see what happens. So till then, I thank you guys for watching. Do rate, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think on a comment down below. Do you think EA did a good uh, did a good choice in closing down Maxis? Now all set aside of what just got released with with uh, Maxis and uh, SimCity 2013, but do you think EA did a good job? Do you think that they should have given them another chance? Uh, what What do you think about the HTC headset reality set uh, reality headset? Do you guys think that basically? Um, did you guys get the misconception as well that they were going to make another Half-Life game with them? Or did you just know that they were just going to make the headset, the reality headset, and then from there, who knows what Beyond Creations can take them to? So, till then, thanks again. See you soon.